In other news, Malaysia will proceed with the use of AstraZeneca vaccine. The EMA yesterday said that it found rare cases of blood clots among some adult vaccine recipients, although it said the vaccine's advantages still outweigh the risks. Alfred Balmes from our EBC Malaysia Bureau joins us live. Hello, Alfred. Hello, Alma. Finally, Malaysia will proceed with using the AstraZeneca vaccine after deciding that the benefits of the vaccine might outweigh the negatives. According to the health minister, that took Sri Dr. <coughs> Anhambaba, the Special Committee on COVID-19 Vaccine Supply Access Guarantee meeting yesterday had discussed the safety of the vaccine following concerns about the occurrence of blood clots and small number of recipients. They also discussed the usage of the AstraZeneca vaccine from the United Kingdom. The reason why Malaysia will proceed with AstraZeneca because the clinical data has shown that there are more benefit, benefits that's negative with this vaccine. Experts at the meeting discussed several issues relating to AstraZeneca, particularly the discovery of blood clots cases among recipients of the vaccine. The minister said although Malaysia had agreed to procure the AstraZeneca vaccine, the country had not yet received them, but they have agreed to procure them from Thailand and also from the COVAX facility based in South Korea. Malaysia is scheduled to receive deliveries of about 6.4 million doses of, of the AstraZeneca vaccine in May for the use of 3.2 million people. Dr. Alham and, Trans and Transport Minister Datuk Siri, Dr. Wee Kasyong, witnessed the signing of ceremony of an MOU between the two ministries. The documents were signed by Health Minister Secretary General Datuk Muhammad Shafiq Abdullah and Transport Minister Secretary General Datuk Isham Isham. The agreement will see both ministries collaborate to develop programs that will produce competent ambulance drivers. Dr. Adham added the government would also enact a low base of emer on the emergency management system in many developed countries which would focus on ambulance safety. About 2,500 ambulance drivers attached to the ministry who would benefit from the driving competency and safety programs under the new collaboration. Back to you, Alma. Thank you very much, Alfred, for your update. Looking forward to more updates coming from... Malaysia, you stay safe, take care. Thank you. Reporting from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, this is Alfred Ralmes. We live in interesting times.